Uh. Who is she? Hi, she's um, kamusta kayo? <laughs> kamusta ako? Today is August 14, one day past my due date. This morning, I'm experiencing cramps. Ang sakit, para siyang dysmenorrhea. Ah, ang sakit. We're tracking my um, contractions via this app. And so far, it's telling us to go to the hospital already. But the pain is still tolerable. Kaya ko pa. O nakapagsirta pa nga ko siya sams, diba? Pero yun, let's see if today is the day. And finally, the day. Hindi ako nakatulog masyado. I mean, from 5am, idlip-idlip lang kasi nagigising ako sa sakit. So, hindi ko alam kung ito na yun. But let's see, she sams. Maligo mo na ako para lang handa. Waiting lang kami sa go signal ni Doktora kung go na kami sa hospital. Pero kailangan pa ulit mag-insert ng 2 capsules of primrose oil. Ang awkward sesums na may pinapasok sa vagina <coughs> na capsules. Pero ang tibay ng asawa ko. Hindi mo lang siya na o-awkward dun. Anyway, baltan ko kayo ulit later sesums. Mag-aayos mo na ako kasi baka today is the day. Hindi ko uuwi din kami. Ikaw, tingin mo, Mariel? Ha? Tingin mo, tuloy-tuloy na? Pag ano, pag umuwi kami, it's a prank. <laughs> Sorry, it's a prank. We're going home. Better luck next time. A few moments later. Ayan, nasa hospital na ako. Ang daming nangyayari. Ang daming questions. Pero anyway, kapag IE na ako, unfortunately, 1 to 2 cm pa din. Pero yung contractions ko, masakit na at saka regular na. I don't know what's the plan, but uh, for now, the heart rate of the baby is normal. And my contractions are going up to 85. To 85. And they said na yung pinakama pinakamasakit daw is 100. So, yung wala pa naman ako sa point na yun. Ayan, she's um, hindi ko alam kung i-admit ako today, pero strain it ulit yung cervix ko para mag-open pa. Anyway, may fetal monitor ako dito. Oof. So, nandyan yung heart rate ni baby. And yung rate ng contractions ko. Hi, she's um, as of 3 p.m. Andito pa din ako. So, nakamonitor pa rin sa fetal, fetal movement and heartbeat ni baby. And yung contractions ko, umabot na ng 90. Sakit. But sabi ng doctor, it happens daw every 6 minutes. Ang goal is every 3 minutes daw kailangan nagko-contract ako. <gasps> Oh, kaya ko ba? Sakit-sakit. Ililipat na daw ako sa room. I-admit daw ako today. Later ulit. Hi, she's um So, ayan. Tinansfer na ako dito sa room. So, ang advice sa ni doktora, maglakad-lakad daw ako. And kung kaya, mag may pulse stimulation daw kami ni Perry para mas mag-regulate uh, pa yung contractions. It's five, going 5 o'clock p.m. So far, so good. I'm okay. Kaya ko pang, kaya ko pang kumilos. Let's see ko na also kung mga nang, ah, uh, ah, ah, gino, ah, contractions. Ah, ah, hu, hu, ah. Iyak ako si Zamos, di ko na kung kaya. At ita ako to ko. Di ko lang kung kaya ko, pero ang sakit-sakit na. Ano ko? 
ada itu udah bayun kenapa kenapa bayun Hi Shizams, it's 7 p.m. and I was advised to take my dinner first before they send me to the delivery room. And my obigayani allowed me to eat whatever. So I ordered sinigang na bangus. This is the hospital food. Oh. Perry will have chicken. And as of 7 p.m., okay. my contractions. <laughs> are happening every five minutes five minutes sarap ng buhay mo no ano to bakasyon hmm? anong silbi mo dito coach ha dula ko eh ba bakasyon ka sarap She sounds it's almost oras na 9.06 pm nilipat ulit ako sa DR for fetal monitoring ayun waiting na lang sa advice ni doktora and i-check kung ilang cm na ako grabe yung sakit <sighs> hi she sounds <laughs> Bumalik lang ako sa room. Kasi, ayaw niya lumabas. 3 cm pa lang after ilang hours ng sobrang sakit na contractions. Anyway, it's almost 11. 10? 11.15. Ayun lang. So, kailangan ko daw mag-rest. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. 7 a.m. Hi, she thumbs. Hiyo makatulog every 5 minutes yung contractions kahit anong position ng gawin ko sakit sakit hirap hanggang 7 am pa to 1:30 am pa lang hey she's a mistake ko na yung anesthesia para ako tinatahi sa ibon Anyway, where are we? Birthday room. We're in the birthday room. We're here. We're going to go to the left. We're going to go to the left. So, I'm going to go to the 4CM. I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to go to the left. Did you hear me? I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to go to the left. I want to go to the 4CM, but I want to go to the left. I want to go to the left. Ito yung pa ulit na lumaki pa yung lumaki. Pero at least may anesthesia na. Pero bawas na naman yung all fairness. Pero ang sakit yung anesthesia. Dito na ako makakarak, di ba? I-rapture? Bakit doktora ayaw niya mag-rapture naturally? Oo. Eh, may mga gano'n na. Ang sakit yan? Gano'n naman kayo pag nakita niya yung instrument kasi. Wow, manapin. Yes. Ano 
Anastasia. Parang gusto ko mag-uwi ng gano'n. <laughs> Ay, nararamdaman pa rin ako truck shots. Masakit. Pero hindi kasi sakit to ayaw. Hi, Shiza! We have a visitor! It's my brother! Doktor yan dito. Charot! Kailangan ko ba ito? Hindi naman mo. It's a good dog. Hi, she's um, I didn't know what happened, but we opted na for CS kasi yung cervix ko talaga is not dilating well. It just went up to 5 cm. Todo na yun after so many hours. Actually, more than one day na kaming umaasa na it's gonna go up to 10 cm, pero wala talaga. And the baby's not really going down. May zero, no? Umawat ng zero. And it's so painful na talaga, kaya nag-go na rin ako for CS. And I was asleep the whole time. Of course, it's not allowed to take videos inside, but I have photos. Perry has photos. I was just asleep, no? And then I had complications. Explain mo. So, yung uterus niya napagod sa kakakontract. Dahil tinatry namin yung natural natural birth. So, ayun. Binuksan na. Hindi na siya nagko-contract para stop yung bleeding. So, yun. Nagkaroon siya ng blood loss. So, ayun. Na-transfuse siya. 1.9 liters yung nawala sa kanya. So, kailangan siya salina ng dalawang bags ng blood. So, kinabahan ako. Siyempre, ayoko naman may mangyari kay Chris. It's the best choice na talaga for me and the baby. Wala na talaga kami, I mean, tiniis ko na talaga lahat ng TS. Tiniis ko na lahat ng contractions. Umiiyak na talaga ako to the highest level. Nag-up lang ng 1cm after all the contractions the whole night na hindi ako makatulog. Sa sobrang sakit na. So, that's it, Shizam. Silipat na kami sa... Normal room. Normal room. Mag-aaka. Bye, Shizams. Blood transfusion ba tawag dyan? Second bag mo na ito. Kanina sa DR din nag-transfuse na sila. So, last bag ko na yan? Hopefully. Hindi, depend pa rin siya sa results. First meal after how many hours? Mga 40 hours. Monday yun o. Hi, Shizams! It's Punas time. My first Punas. My first... Bawal maligo eh. Walang ligoan ng one month. Punas, Punas lang. My first Punas after my C-section. Ingat naman yung eyelashes ko at chat. Sagi. So, kaya itim. Hi, Shizams! Today is day two na namin dito sa hospital. I mean, day two from giving birth. Kasi naka-catheter ako from my... Ang sorry na tayo, cesarean. From my C-section. So, two days akong naka-bed rest. So, ngayon ako tumayo. Ngayon lang ako lumakad. And grabe, hirap na hirap ako. Nagulat ako. Kanina, iyak ako ng iyak kasi... 
hindi ko expect na ganun pala kasakit yung C-section. As in, parang hinati yung katawan ko. Parang hiniwala yung legs ko sa katawan ko ng biglaan. Yung parang chinap-chap ako bigla. Kung ko siguro na overwhelmed lang ako na sobrang, sobrang hirap. Saka may pagdadaan ka talagang recovery. Ramdam ko na. Pero ngayon, medyo stable na ako. Nakakalakan na ako ng maayos kumpara kanina. Kanina din, naging emotional ako kasi parang hindi ko alam if si baby may nakukuha ba talaga siyang colostrum sa akin. Talagang ano lang, gusto nilang laruin yung nipples ko. Hindi ko alam kung may nakukuha siyang pagkain. Eh, syempre, yung goal ko, diba, gusto ko lumaki siya. Saka, gusto ko may makuha talaga siyang gatas from me. Gusto ko talaga mag-breastfeed. So, na-frustrate ako kanina kasi parang dede siya ng dede sa boobs ko pero hindi ko alam kung may nakukuha siya. So, anyway, yun yung mga ganaps ko this morning. Hindi ko na nakunan kasi sobrang overwhelming na yung feeling. So, yan. Ang mahirap sa C-section, pag tayo, unang tayo, ay, umiiyak na siya. Unang lakad, unang wiwi, ganyan. Pero, kailangan mong sanayin yung sarili mo. Kailangan maglakad-lakad ka para mas madali yung recovery mo. Umiiyak mo, love? Kaya mo lang? Ilang. Ikaw? Tapos? Waiting time. Baby. Huwag <laughs> ko patawanin. Sakit-sakit na tahi ko. Nakabusin. <laughs> Ayaw ko ito ako na sakit. Hi Haley. Hi Haley. Hi Haley. <laughs> you look like an angel. And I'm so you look like and I know I'm so elated that I have now a granddaughter, a beautiful granddaughter. I'm very happy that you gave birth to a healthy normal baby. And a message ko sayo, uh, take a lot of rest. And wag masyado mag-isip-isip. Uh, basta, you always ask me whenever you need help. I can uh, help you out. Thank you for visiting me. Nandito pala yung nice print eh. Ang sahod ko, 3 months na wala. Ano ba, manas ako? Congrats. You're a certified nanay na. Yeah, I'm a certified nanay na. I I feel my purpose. <laughs> Fulfilled. Fulfilled. Bigger purpose. Lola, ano pong gift mo po sa akin? <laughs> Hindi ba? Ang cute. Sabi niya. Sabi niya. Sabi niya. Oh, hindi lang ako. Kita ko na ayaw ko lang gawin. So, today is day 6. Mag-one week na kami dito sa hospital. And so far, okay naman. Okay na ako. Um, Nakapag-poop na ako, Shizam. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na, pwede na kami umalis. Pwede na kami umuwi. And uh, bumalik na rin kahit pa paano yung energy ko. Pero wala pa rin akong tulog kasi na... <laughs> Nako-conscious ako, parang every time iiyak si baby, ayan, hindi rin ako mapakali. Laging nagpe-breastfeed every 2 to 3 hours. So, parang yung pahinga mo na ilang oras, parang ang dami ko pa rin kailangan gawin. Na, Nag-work ako ngayon, nag edit ako ng vlog. Na-realize ko, Shizams, hindi ako nakapag-upload this weekend kasi hindi ako makapag-edit. Aside sa mahinang internet dito. Wala akong time to edit a vlog. Ang dami kong pending na vlogs bago 
bago ko i-announce or i-share sa inyong birth vlog na to. So, kailangan madaliin. Anyway, and yes, uh, dinalay ko talaga yung announcement ng arrival ng baby ng panganak ko kasi um, as much as possible, gusto ko ng quiet time with the baby. Kailangan ko ng time to recover. So, anyway, ayan, ito na yun ako, postpartum outfit. This, uh, this is a nursing bra by Mama Wei. So, mas madali mag-breastfeed kasi, yun. One clip down lang. Clip lang siya. And then, this binder then is by Mama Wei. Actually, ang dami nag-recommend ito sa akin. So, yun. So, mas nakakalakad na ako ngayon. Mas nakakilos na ako. Breastfeeding time! Takaw niyo to? <laughs> May isa pang matakaw. <laughs> Pag feeding time ni baby, feeding time mo din. You had your own contractions and it's coming every two to three minutes. Nice strong on the day of your uh, delivery. Although when you came one day before, you were already in active labor every five to seven minutes. Nice strong. But then the cervix is only dilated for about two to three centimeters. And then once you were at the birthing room, you are contracting on your own. No augmentation required. But then you were stuck at five centimeters dilated, maximum six centimeters, so I called for a stout cesarean section. And during the delivery, there was uterine atony. The, the uterus does not, did not contract well, not well contracted, so I did all the necessary medications and do, did direct massage, massaging of the uterus, and successfully, I was able to, subs to save your uterus. Good job, doctor. Yeah, good job. <laughs> pagod lang talaga ako at saka uh, in-enjoy ko lang talaga yung first days ko with Hailey Luca. So that's it, Shizals. See you on the next vlog!